All right, we're rolling. All right, cool. Let's get it. Let's get it. You can start cutting it, and I'll just start going. <laughs> yeah, All right, so you just do your thing, and I don't want any pressure on you. No pressure. No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No. A little pressure. A little bit of anxiety. <laughs> There's people watching. <laughs> we got Ryan over here in the corner, you know, take with the camera stuff. No so pressure. <laughs> no. Dude, wait All right. Till I say Damn. no. <laughs> Hello, let's slow down. One second. All right. Three, two, one. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Molding the Mindset. Today, this is a special episode, man. I don't know if you can hear it or not but I'm currently in the middle of getting my hair cut. Yes, and, sir. <laughs> and that is because today my guest is none other than my barber. You know, I really only know you by Matt. How do you say your last name? My name is Matt Strumpel. Matt what? Matt Strumpel. Strumpel? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Matt Strumpel Matt or Strumple. Matt the Barber or Matt Handsome Devil. Yes, sir. As I have him saved in my phone. <laughs> you started messing around cutting your own hair and that's sort of what got you into, into the... the barber business yeah yeah well so basically when I was uh, 12 years old I started cutting my own hair mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, I started catching on to people that I started cutting hair because you know we had a lot of friends I played football I played basketball I played baseball okay. there was always a lot of boys around my neighborhood or on my house my parents were workaholics so uh, we always had a lot of kids at our house there was never any too many rules you know mm -hmm. like when when my parents were gone of course but uh, when they were there, there, there was a lot of rules. But uh, since they were uh, workaholics and they were halfway gone all the time, I always had a lot of kids in my house. They were always eating up all my food. Mm -hmm. They were always you know, hanging out. They were always watching TV. So I had a lot of uh, guinea pigs to practice on. Got it. So I started practicing on my brother's friends, my brothers, my little brother, my dad. You know, then I started you know, cutting people from the football team, the basketball team, and then I found out why they were treating my boy Anthony Val my Anthony Prater so well right. is because he had the power. He had the power of making somebody feel very, very good. And that was something that I got addicted to. Is that I did over from when I was um, when I was twelve years old to I was about eighteen years old, I did five thousand free haircuts. Five so thousand five thousand free, free haircuts. So about five thousand free haircuts. I never charged and I never would say no. What was your least favorite thing that you tried? I was a ditch digger. You and were a ditch digger. I was a ditch digger, but I was making really good money. I was making thirty-four bucks an hour. So when they say the world needs ditch diggers, that was that. that was, yeah, so I was a ditch digger. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, but then after being a ditch digger, after trying to find something else, I knew I wasn't as happy. You know, right. I knew when I was shoveling the dirt, the dirt wouldn't thank me at all. You know what I mean? Right. No one would thank me for what I was doing that day. And when when it came down to cutting someone's hair, my fucking whole life, like, my whole life got brighter when I was, you know cutting hair because mm -hmm. the way I made somebody feel it was was priceless you know this is knocked under your belt so what so what was that transition like right you're, you're a ditch digger and you're going I, I need to get out of this how did you then transition back into be, well, you know cutting well cutting I never hair? stopped cutting hair okay like so I you're said still so, so to my friends yeah I still was still cutting for free oh, okay okay you know and to this day I still cut my hair my friends hairs for free yeah so it's something that, that um, I always will do and it kind of keeps my bond together with some of my high school friends mm -hmm. is that no matter what, I'm always going to cut there. Yeah. And do you, do you remember what that, what that period was like when you decided, okay, I'm jumping into this It was tough. Full time. It was tough. It was a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. Um, I didn't really have someone saying, don't do this, don't do that. I mean, a lot of us barbers don't. We don't really have a lot of peers like to say, hey, you know, don't do this, don't do that. They're kind of like, you, you, they, you get taught and you kind of get, it's kind of like an animal. You know, you get taught to fucking prey, you get taught to fucking like hunt, and then after that, it's on your own. You know right. what I mean? So, um, you know, process of elimination, uh, just like everybody else in the world, second guess myself. Um, you know, uh, but then you have your friends to tell you that, hey, you know, this is what, your friends and family, like, hey, this is what, you know, this is, you know, your, your gift is going to get you somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. Then he say, wait to say go. He said, <laughs> he switched out and goes, it's rolling. <laughs> well, all fresh. Thank you. No got problem. that confidence. Got that confidence soaring through the roof. Thank Looking you. Looking good out here. So, to set this scene, we're sitting in your shop right now. What's it like to have all this? Um, to be honest with you, uh, it is very. It's it's awesome to have this. It's awesome to have something to say that it's your your own. Mm -hmm. Something that you've. 
uh, prayed for, something that you've, uh, you know, uh, blood, sweat, and tears, something that you risked everything for. It feels good to come to work knowing that, you know, everything is on your energy. Everything is on your tab. You know, uh, um, you know, you only get what you put into th something. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If you're gonna get put something half fast, it's gonna be half fast. Um, I'm pretty fortunate. You know, I pray to God. I feel like uh, you know God has uh, made this all all happen for me, and I'm just appreciative. And I just want to you know uh, spread more energy, mm -hmm. great energy. And I want to help people also with their dreams because I feel like um, uh, when you conquer your dream and you have your dream going. Um, it, it's it's amazing. It's remarkable, huh. and that feeling of helping somebody else with their dream because a lot of people helped me with mine because I did not get here by myself. Right. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like it's my duty to help somebody else with their dream, and to just no matter how tired you are or whatever, you know, you're only as strong as your support team. You know, the people who support you are the people that you should help support them. Because uh, at the end of the day, those people are like the people who are fighting with you. Those are the people in your corner to help you fight this this uh, thing we call life. You know mm -hmm. this this struggle we call life. You know it's a, yeah. there's there's a, there's a million uh, reasons to be happy, but there's also uh, you know things that you have no control of to make you unhappy or to stress you out. Yeah. And uh, when it comes looking at uh, this barber shop, I feel like it's amazing, but I also feel like I can do more. Yeah. Energy is contagious. You know, energy feeds. Energy is like a cancer, you know, but in a good way. Yeah. Like it grows, well, it, could be it negative, grows. Right? Yeah, it, yeah, it could be it could be yeah. negative also. A lot of negative energy yeah. too, but surround yourself around people who are are positive. Surround yourself around people who want to see you do well. And then that energy will trans transform into relationships into bonds into best friends into love into everything else right not only did i find a great barber but i got hooked on this gods and legends shit haven't looked back and it's fucking it's doing wonders for my well, hair right now so that, oh i appreciate yeah, you yeah, yeah. and uh, the thing of, about gods and legends is the thing that i the reason why i called it gods and legends because you want to make a mark on everybody wants to make a mark on the world you know what i mean mm -hmm. martin luther king um mother Teresa. Uh, uh, you know, all these people made these uh, positive uh, marks on people's lives, and they for the rest of their lives they will. But they made the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, ultimate sacrifice is the to go out on 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 the whim and being the standout. Maybe not doing something that's right to somebody else, but right to you. Right. You know, maybe knowing that it's right for you and not right for somebody else, or maybe standing up for somebody else's rights. You know, um, but I made gods and legends because. You know, as a man or as a woman, you want to put your mark on the world and, and you know, you either want to be a god, meaning god above or whatever, right. or a legend, meaning that you're... Uh, um, you want to be that Mother Teresa, you want to be that... You want to be that badass, Malcolm X, you want to be that yeah. badass in whatever field you want, yeah. uh, whatever, I mean, whatever field you want, meaning that you want to be a legend at playing basketball, you want to be a legend as a sportscaster, you want to be a legend as a podcaster. You want to be a you legend know, in production. A legend as production, you want to be, you know... Uh, you know, uh, we all look up to gods. We all look up to legends. You know, and we 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 we, we want to be the Michael Jordan. We want to be the the the. F we want to just be the best that we can possibly be, so that time doesn't forget about us. Right. You know? And that was and that was sort of your inspiration. My inspiration behind the behind the brand. Yeah, my inspiration behind the brand was basically uh, knowing that even though I'm not a big, tall, strapping guy, I am an alpha male. I am a uh, alpha male in my mind, an alpha male, in in the way I I, I uh, direct my life. Yeah. You know, um, I'm not a pushover. You know, uh, I'm a go getter. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, I just know that um, you know my dream is one day to buy my mom a house and and uh, you know take care of you know people who can't yeah. be taken care of and, and and so so that's what I got. This is what the brand is about is about being a an alpha male or or being really good at something you're 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 great at you know either it's your career or home or friends and uh just pressing it to the limit and uh i would say the people who who are rocking my gear or whatever they are leaders and they um and uh 
and you know legends in their own way either mm -hmm. they're like you know a fast runner or a, a, a smart person or they cook really well or yeah. whatever you know I just want to um, you know uh, my product I want them to I want them to be able to achieve whatever they want to achieve just like my haircuts yeah. or they want I want them to feel confident or I want them to feel sexy you know um, you know I feel like that's the reason why I feel like um, you know barbering is not gonna be my last thing yeah because I feel like I, I like to make people look good I like people make people feel good I like to make people achieve their dreams and I feel like sometimes I get stuck in this room for about you know 10 hours a day uh, six six days a week and I feel like I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I feel like I'm robbing myself from being able to spread all this good energy yeah. that I have. Feels that. So that's the reason why the product is there, so I can, um, so I can spread out. You yeah. know what I mean? And I, and I don't have to necessarily have to shake everybody's hand. Yeah. You know, they can put the product in, and they can feel maybe like me, or feel like they're feel like someone they look up to, or or feel like themselves, and yeah. just fucking the conquer. You know. What so I mean? how's it how's it going so far? Let's do a shameless shameless plug here. Where yeah. can people get this at, by the way? Okay, so Gods and Legends, um, you can get it off of Amazon, or you can uh, follow um, on IG as Gods and Legends brand, um, and uh, yeah, you can get it. Uh, they get, can they DM, or can you they can DM personally, on Instagram? You can, can DM on Instagram. Love that. Last question: One person's hair you could cut. Who you, who who are you picking? Who are you picking? Someone okay. goes. I can get you this person in your chair tomorrow. Who you got? Okay, that, that that's a hard question. You know what? I, I should have that one because uh, uh, you know I've been doing it for so long. But I would say dead or alive. Dead or alive. Damn, man, that's the hardest question I've had in a long time. Uh, I would say someone who inspires me. Um, he's my best friend, and his name is Vinny Capizzi, and uh, he's just everything I want to be. So that's, that's dope. Be. That's dope. For sure. Perfect way to end that. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Thank I appreciate you. it. I appreciate you. I wish you nothing you. but the best. Thanks, Continue guys. success. Follow this guy. <laughs> Listen to this guy. These podcasts are amazing. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? You're going to kill it. And you know what? This is going to give you a step to another step to another step to where you want to be in life. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Appreciate you. All right. We are out.